Hey there, it's just Steve again, doing yet another review. Um, this time I'm doing a review on something that I guess I wasn't initially ever wanting to do a review on. It's just something that now that I've finished using the whole product and I've enjoyed it, at the beginning I hated it and then it's weird. It's like it got better and better the more I use it. I figured I'd actually review it just because I think more people should try this type of product. Um, the product I'm talking about is called Skull Dust, and it's by um, a brand called Black Magic. Uh, if you haven't heard of Black Magic, they do pre-workouts, nootropics. They've got one called Berserk, which is their pre-workout. I think it's Magic One for the nootropic, and then um, their protein powder. To me, they've got a blueberry protein powder, which is, I mean, single-handedly the best tasting protein powder that I've ever tried in my life. Like it is just absolutely spot on. The other flavors are good too. The blueberry muffin is just out of this world. But Skaldos was something I never actually purchased. Um, it came for free. Uh, Nutrition Warehouse, they did like a little, if you buy the protein bag, you end up getting this Skaldos Keto Collagen Creamer. Um, you know, the first time I tried it, I tried it with a coffee because there's two suggestions you can do. It's essentially put in hot water, almond milk, whatever it is, mix it. Or you can use it with a coffee, um, but the ingredients list has caffeine in it as it is. So I'll quickly go through what it is. It's four grams of fat, uh, one gram of total carbohydrates, and 12 grams of protein. So it's like 110 calories, straightforward. Um, and then it's got you know grass-fed collagen, grass-fed ghee, medium chain, like MCT oil type of stuff, um, but they've got it in the powder form. Cerulic acid, capric acid, uh, natural Colombian espresso coffee powder, which is 95%. Oh, it's okay. So it's less than one cup of coffee. It's about 95 milligrams of caffeine. Um, turmeric powder and some Omega-3 kind of added into it. Um, when I first tried this, I tried it with the suggestion of having it with some coffee as well. And I had just one serving of coffee, so that I guess makes it two cups worth with this ingredient list as well in there. And it was one of the most awful tasting things I've ever tried. I mean, just straight up fucking terrible. Um, a friend of mine, Alex, tried it as well. I mean, he hated it so much, he just gave it to me. Um, he was like, you just have mine. Like, he's like, I'm never gonna drink this. Um, and I didn't use it for about another month and a half. And then I was like, maybe I'll just try it in water. Like it just a random thought in my head came in and I tried it and it doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste awful though in water. That's like, I can, I can drink anything and eat anything, even if it tastes awful. This was like at above awful level, but in water it was okay. And, um, the one thing I noticed about it is it worked almost like a nootropic pre-workout. You get a little bit of a caffeine buzz. And it's so smooth, like it lasts for about four hours of just 95 milligrams of caffeine, but it, it tapers off in that perfect way. There's no shot of coffee where you go boom and then you're in there and then an hour later you feel a little bit, you know, froggy about it and you need a little bit more caffeine. This is just, you have it and it's smooth for hours on end. Um, never felt like I had to use it over the 22 gram scoop and it worked really, really well. Now, the reason I wanted to review it is because I think something like, like Skaldust or whatever really brand of this you could find, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's other major companies that do it. The reason that I thought this is good is because if you're a steam junkie like myself, and if you're probably watching this, you probably are as well. Obviously, you don't really want to be overdosing on any of those high stimulant pre-workouts. Some people seem to be able to handle it. I have it maybe once a week, if that. Um, and then sometimes I don't even feel like using a daily driver. Um, like today I did uh, hamstrings and glutes, which is one of my most annoying muscle parts to do because I just, I struggle with it. It's hard to recover from, it's tough. I can engage them good, but it's just tough. But um, I didn't want to get any beta in me. I didn't need the tingles, didn't anything. I just needed a calm, something low dosage, maybe like the tropic element. So I figured, fuck it, like, you know, I'll use this. So I've been doing that for a few weeks for hams and glutes. And it works really, really well. It gives you a good energy kick. It's long lasting. So if your session goes, I mean, 
it took me about an hour and ten to do hams and glutes, but I, that was an hour ago. I've had food. Doesn't suppress your appetite. Doesn't make you want to eat more. Doesn't really affect anything. Just a nice little mood elevation, and you feel very healthy on it. It's not like a dark energy where when you take it, obviously, like you know, the DMAA, DMHA, you just feel a little bit on the edge, a little bit iffy. Um, so yeah, look, I hope that that helps you. I hope that maybe this makes you consider buying. It doesn't have to be black magic. I don't give a fuck which one you buy. I've got no sponsors. I'm just a dude giving you a review and shit. Um, but if you do enjoy it, I would genuinely recommend giving any one of these a try. This I'm not keto. I don't do any of that shit. But just in terms of what the product does is really good. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. If you like it, give it a try.